So normally whenever a Sephora spring savings event comes around, I always like to do some type of recommendations video. And typically I'll talk through all of my favorite products, give you like 50 recommendations in every single category. And well, that could be great. This time I wanted to kind of pare things down a little bit. So instead I narrowed it down to my top 10 recommendations. And then I will also be letting you guys know all the products that I plan on picking up during the sale. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments and let's just jump right into it. So the very first product recommendation that I have is perhaps a little bit of a random one because it's for a deodorant. I recently saw that Sephora started to carry Salt and Stone and I kind of freaked out because Salt and Stone has always been a brand that's been not really like difficult to get a hold of, but it's just not a brand that's widely available absolutely everywhere. And I always found it just kind of annoying trying to track these guys down. So when I saw that Sephora started carrying them, I mean, I got so excited, especially in time for the sale. I knew myself that I will be stocking up because their deodorant has become like my current favorite everyday deodorant. So this is a natural deodorant gel. It's aluminum free. It works so well for my body. Obviously not all deodorants are gonna work for everybody, especially natural deodorants. They could be a little bit tricky. Obviously a deodorant that actually works is probably the most important thing when it comes to a deodorant, but there are a lot of deodorants that are effective for me. So what kind of takes this to another level really is the scent. So they come in a couple different fragrances. I have the bergamot and hinoki fragrance and oh, my God, it completely smells like a fragrance. Like I would wear this as a perfume. I'm actually curious if they even have this as a perfume because I would buy it and wear it every single day. It has a very earthy, woodsy, kind of musky fragrance to it, but it's also not too strong. I don't want my deodorant to overpower my perfume, but I still want my deodorant to smell good. And this fragrance is just beautiful. This is also a gel, so it does go on completely clear. So you're not gonna get any like white chunkiness underneath the arms. So if you're looking to try a new deodorant, this one's wonderful. Staying within the body care category, we need to talk about the new Youth to the People body care. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I kind of wanted to mention like their entire body care line, including their hand soap and body scrub, but that would have been four products just there. So I really had to narrow it down to my two favorites. And so I have the Hydra and Glow Dream Body Butter and the Superfood Anisotamide Body Cleanser. These are fairly new in my life. I've only had them for a couple weeks, but they've very quickly become some of my favorite body products that I've tried in, in, in a long time. This body butter is so delicious. Like that is the best way to describe this product. It is very, very, very thick and creamy. It literally looks like butter. It really does. It's even the color of butter. This leaves your body feeling silky, 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 silky soft. Youth to the People also killed the scent department in all of these body products. The body cream scent is Yuzu Green Tea and Blonde Woods. I know that's probably not super descriptive, but it's really the perfect balance between a fresh and very earthy woodsy scent. I actually find it's quite unique and has this very like spa-like quality to it. So the combination of all of that has made this my go-to moisturizer. And then the body cleanser, same deal. It smells so good. This one has notes of cedarwood, black pepper, and fresh greens. So again, it has that like woodsy and fresh fragrance. It smells like a body cleanser that I would find at a very, very, very high-end luxury hotel. It's also formulated not to dry out your skin, which is always great for a body wash. There is hyaluronic acid in here and niacinamide. So know that I love the entire Youth to the People body care line. Even the scrub too is so good, but these are my top two favorites. The sale is always a really great time to pick up hair tools. And I wanted to recommend probably one of my favorite hair tools that I have in my collection that I don't really talk about probably as much as I should, because it's one of my most used hair tools. And even though it's a hair tool and it's on the pricier side, I do feel like it's a pretty good bang for your buck considering what you actually get from it. And that is my curling iron from T3. So what makes this curling iron special is that it's essentially a three in one. So you get three different size barrels and this is the smallest one. All you gotta do is just unlock it, take it off, and then you could snap on another size. This is the medium. And then this is the largest size. So this is a one inch, one and a quarter, and then one and a half inch 
barrel size. I also find that these barrels give me a very smooth looking curl and my curls also last really well. I've also had this for years. I've used it at this point probably hundreds of times and it's still going very, very strong. All right, now let's get into the makeup recommendations. The first product that came to mind as I was putting this video together is this Danessa Myricks palette that I actually got, I believe at the last Sephora sale. So this is the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Palette. And this um, probably at first glance doesn't look very exciting because it's just a neutral palette, but this is very unlike most other neutral palettes that are out there. So what makes this palette unique is that you have two different formulas for each one of these shades. So the larger pan is the pomade and then the smaller pan is the powder. They were also formulated to use not just on the eyes but anywhere else on the face. So I very, very often use, for example, this shade over here called Chiseled as a nose contour. And then the pomade in Bark is actually one of my favorite eyeliner shades. It's a very versatile palette and it's a really great core palette to have in your collection. This is something that I've been really wanting to tell you guys. Um, I've been thinking a lot about it and I think it's time that I finally let you know that the Tower 28 concealer is officially my favorite concealer I have ever, ever, ever tried. I knew that this was trending in that direction the very first moment this concealer graced my skin, but I wanted to give it some time for it to really solidify itself in, into my life and my routine before I gave you that title officially because that's that's a pretty big title to give but seriously guys like this is honestly and truly the very best concealer i have ever tried it is perfection it's perfectly hydrating it has the perfect amount of like medium almost full coverage it looks so fresh underneath the eyes and it just always looks flattering. It never looks cakey. It never looks heavy. It always just looks like a dewy, beautiful, perfectly concealed moment. I was a little bit hesitant to mention like a base product as one of my top 10 because base products are so particular um, and so individual. And I really wanted to kind of cast a wide net for my recommendations, so to speak. But I really do feel like most people would really enjoy this product. I've recommended this to so many people in my life as well. Different skin types, different age ranges, and everybody always comes back to me with rave reviews. I'll even sometimes use this in place of my foundation. I'll kind of put it all over my face and use it <laughs> like a foundation and it works great like that too. That's all I gotta say about that. There were so many lip products that I could have mentioned in this video. I'm really on a big lip product kick at the moment. I have been playing around with so many different formulas, but there's one lip product that I go back to almost every single day that I always just love using. Like, you know those products that you put on, you're like, mm, I'm really enjoying this experience of putting on this product. That's how I feel whenever I put on one of my Nude Sticks Hydropeptide Lip Butters. These lip butter formulas are obviously very popular right now. A lot of different brands have their own version. The Nude Sticks one is without a doubt my absolute favorite. If you want an everyday lip color, that's just easy. That gives great glossy shine. That's also super hydrating and, and just feels really good on the lips. And that also feels good knowing that you're doing good on your lips because this is a very hydrating product that has great ingredients in it. This is the one that I would recommend. Sugar Plum is my favorite shade. I'll put some on so you guys can see what it looks like. I don't know if Sugar Plum was a limited edition shade. I'm really hoping that it wasn't because it's just so good. It's like a perfect berry shade that just gives a like bitten look to the lips. You just can't go wrong with a product like this. I do feel like the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy is a little bit of a cliche recommendation at this point because it's been spoken about to such an extreme that it almost is like, okay, we've heard enough about the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy. We know it's good. Let's move on. But it really is that girl. Like it really is such a great product. And so many brands right now are coming out with their own version of the Deep Bronzy. And there's just Nothing really quite compares. I really do feel like the De Bronzy is still my favorite, but these are essentially bronzer drops. Um, you can mix this in with your foundation to add a little hint of bronze. You can mix this in with your moisturizer to add a little hint of bronze. You can also wear this on its own to give a very, very natural bronze look to the skin. It does give a beautiful glow to the skin as well. So not only does it add bronze, but it also adds some glow. So going into the spring and summer, I just feel like this is such a perfect product to have in your little makeup toolkit because it just adds that beautiful bronzy summery springy <laughs> glow which i which i just really love and i even love mixing this with my spf for like a, a beach day pool day some spf a little bit de bronzy stunning if you're looking for a new cream blush please allow me to turn you on to the say 
do blushes. I bought a shade a couple years ago, like when they first launched and it was just like the wrong shade for me. And because it wasn't really the right shade for me, I wrote off the formula and I just never really used it because the shade that I purchased just wasn't, it wasn't for me. But I recently picked up a couple shades that are for me, like this one over here called Chili. And oh my goodness, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite cream blushes that I have in my collection. I'm already wearing blush, but I'm gonna put a little bit more on. It is just such an easy cream blush to just throw on. You really can't overdo it. It's not like the Rare Beauty blushes, which I love by the way, but as you guys I'm sure know, that they are very, 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 very pigmented um, and you really gotta be careful when applying them. This one is easy. I can throw it on as I'm sitting here on a couch without a mirror and blend it out with my fingers and I'm going to get a perfect blend. It's gonna give me the perfect amount of color. It's not too sheer, it's not too pigmented. It also has a beautiful sheen to it where it just makes your skin look dewy and hydrated. Chili is my favorite shade in the collection. It gives you that very like sunburnt look. I was using this every single day for like a month straight once and I had to essentially pry it out of my hands to get myself to use other products. This is just an A++ formula. Now my last makeup recommendation is a little bit random. I love the Makeup Forever Artist pencils. I've been using them basically since they launched for a couple years now and I always, always, always talk about them. But once in a while, I'll discover a new shade from the line and the color that I'm currently obsessed with is Up and Down Tan. So before I put on the Nude Sticks lip butter, that was actually what I was wearing on my lips, layered with a clear lip oil. It's the perfect your lips but better lip liner. When I apply this lip liner, I don't just apply it around the edges of my lips. I apply it on the entirety of my lips. And then I'll do what I did today. I'll put a clear lip gloss or a clear lip oil on top just to kind of make my lips pop a little bit more. But it gives that perfect your lips but better lip look. And you can use the Makeup Artist pencils not just on your lips but on your eyes as well. And I will very often use this as like a winged eyeliner color and it is beautiful. I find that it makes my brown eyes pop quite nicely. Actually, this would be stunning also on green eyes and on blue eyes. Ooh, yes. So those are all of my product recommendations. Now let me just quickly go through my personal wish list and what I plan on picking up during the sale. First thing that I knew I was going to be picking up during the sale is the new Say Concealer. I got such an influx of DMs asking me about this concealer, asking me to give you guys my thoughts. I am very excited to try this. I feel like it might rival the Tower 28 concealer. I've heard really great things. The reviews are really good. It's supposed to be just like another serum-like hydrating concealer. So I'm very interested to see how it does compare. I really love the Say base product. Even the Say Hydra Beam Concealer is one of my favorite hydrating concealers, so I'm really interested to see how it's going to be. So I'm gonna be picking that one up for sure. Another product that really got me excited is the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Blooming Romance Palette. So it's essentially the same concept as the original Groundwork Palette, but in these really gorgeous rosy tones. I feel like the shades in here have a little bit more like vibrancy and fun to them compared to the original Groundwork Palette. I also feel like a lot of these shades would translate really beautifully on other parts of the face because they have those pinky tones to them. I feel like we can use a lot of these as blush shades as well. Another product that I'm really curious to try is the Glossier Cloud Paint Gel Cream Bronzers. I love the Cloud Paint blushes, so I'm pretty curious to see how the bronzer version of the Cloud Paints would be. Like I said, I am also gonna pick up more of the Salt and Stone deodorants. I just figured I might as well just have some backups because it's one of my favorite deodorants. Might as well get it on sale. And then the last thing that I wanna pick up and probably the most exciting thing that I wanna pick up is the Main Medium Hot Thermal Round Brush. I've been wanting to pick up a thermal round brush for a while, I just didn't really know which brand to go to. Main is a new brand that's now on Sephora. It's Jen Atkins brand. I've just been really wanting to play with a thermal round brush. I feel like it would be a really great tool to give me like a very smooth blowout effect. I just feel like it would be fun to play with and I'm just really interested to see how it would react with my hair. And that completes today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments. If you plan on picking up anything during the sale, let me know your wish list in the comments. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy today's video and subscribe if you wanna see more from me. Gus also says, hi by the way, he's been sleeping back there the entire time. I need the camera to focus on him because he's literally in the cutest position ever. Bye.